kept you waiting, huh? Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Boneworks is finally released, and for me, it's definitely lived up to the hype. It has its flaws, and I'll go into detail later in the video about them. I had a different opening in mind, but I, as I was editing this, it just came to my attention that a user on Reddit by the name of Seafy has uploaded an edit to put into your local app data file to unlock everything in the sandbox. I don't know if it's quite everything, but it's pretty damn close. And it beats dragging a trash can around like I've seen many users stealing stuff from the museum. So if this is something that you don't want to really grind out, maybe you got 40 hour work week, and you don't feel like going through every level and finding every secret, this might be the way to go if you just want to mess around in the sandbox. I'm going to leave a link down below. Uh, and a big thanks to Syfy, or Seafy, I'm, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, uh, for figuring this out and uploading it to the community. It's greatly appreciated. In this video, I'm just going to kind of show off uh, my experience with the game, the story, I beat the story, the story was good. It's up for interpretation, and reading other people's interpretation really helped me understand it. I've seen a lot of complaining, but the game was only $30. It does have some issues here and there, but as a VR experience, this is definitely next generation stuff we're working with here. Uh, I had a fantastic time with this game, as many of you... I'm assuming did as well so like I said if you just want to go ahead and skip watching this video I left in the description a link that user Syfy has posted having all the weapons uh, NPCs in the sandbox environment the uh, main reason why you might want to skip this video is because I don't explain the story but there are some environmental spoilers I show up pretty much to the end of the game minus one or two chapters maybe uh, so if you decide to watch the video thank you for watching please consider subscribing it would help me out a lot and I hope you enjoy Whoa! Wow. wow this is so cool <laughs> Wow oh no <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I never thought I'd be fascinated by broom bristles bending. It's so well thought out. Oh. <coughs> it's attacking me. At the dawn of our virtual world, many early inhabitants found themselves limited by the primitive concepts of short-range warp locution. <laughs> that is so cool. This is amazing. This really is truly cool. I am so excited to see what this game has in store. Monocon provides a wide array of immersive virtual equipment for any simulated lifestyle. Nice. The excellent range of Local options cardboard. spans from the work. The entire museum level was absolutely amazing. And it should be put out as a demo on its own right. I don't think Boneworks is having any problems sales wise. Last I looked, they sold 200,000 copies in just three days. But one of the main issues I have, and that, this is when I first started realizing it coming to this uh, gun range here, is just the weapons with sights are just a little off. I'm not sure if the stock is interacting with the head, or maybe it's something you need to hold out in front of you. I had some luck with just tilting my gun. I am also on a Oculus. I'm not sure if any other headsets are having this issue, but for me personally, I could not get the sights to line up quite right with scoped weapons. 
One other issue I had, the extremely poorly placed checkpoints. If you don't have an hour to devote to an entire level, you're gonna have to start all the way back over. If you die in a level, you start all the way back over. The reason I think this is a good clip to showcase this is that if you solve a puzzle, it's gonna say solved, uh, but it kicks you all the way back to the start of the level. And you're gonna have to run through levels with no enemies, but at least the puzzles are solved. And the puzzle solving in this game I found quite enjoyable. There was a lot of aha moments, and it just felt good. And there, I feel like there's a hundred million ways to do different puzzles. I've seen so many clips of people solving different ones in just insane ways that you wouldn't even think were possible. But due to the physics engine in this game, it is possible. to start the whole level over again. What's up guys, you know how to get back in? Uh. See? Oh, that looks 
looked wrong. Get down. <laughs> First try, baby. There we go. Fuck you. I'm king of jumping. But there's some sneaky down here in my head. Oh boy. If you made it this far, thanks for watching the video. Another key thing I'd like to point about this game is the soundtrack is phenomenal. The combat is phenomenal. The physics are phenomenal. This is absolutely worth $30. It is a great game published by a great studio and you can tell a lot of passion went into this. I would like to thank you for watching the video and as a reminder to hit the subscribe button that would help me out a ton. And with that, I hope you guys have a great day, and thanks again for watching.